above the heavens God's love Deeper than the sea 2 Timothy 1.5 is where we're going to pick up remembering that we had ended with Paul talking about he's saying I constantly remember you in my prayer night and day talking to Timothy and I think I had asked you know is there somebody that you remember constantly because there should be and if you don't have anybody in your life that you can pray for constantly hey pray for me <laughs> all right 2nd Timothy 1 5 for I am mindful of the sincere faith within you which first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice and I am sure that it is in you as well the sincere faith within you he's talking about that faith inside of Timothy Sincere means to be without deceit or guile or hypocrisy, mm -hmm. all right? It means to be real. The Lord is not fooled by a profession of faith that is not coupled with the action of faith. Okay, he searches the heart. And it's obvious that if there is such a thing as a sincere faith, then there must also be something called an insincere faith yes. by contrast. Right? Yes. Think about that. I mean, people. I hear lots of Christians saying that they're walking by faith, they have faith, they're doing things by faith, but there's sincere faith, real faith, and there is insincere faith. It's the scripture that says <clears throat> that, um, God says their lips, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You're, you're quoting Isaiah, Isaiah 29, verse 13, which, by the way, Jesus quoted that. All right, in the, in the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew 15, 8, 9, he, Jesus said, You hypocrites. Now he's speaking to the Pharisees, the scribes, and the spiritually blind who were being led by them. Okay, but this is the quote unquote, the people of God. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, You hypocrites, rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you. This people draws near to me with their mouths and honors me with their lips. But their heart is far away from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. Mm. So it's there on the mouth, but it's not it's not in the heart. God searches the heart. Remember that, okay? So what is real? What is sincere faith? Let's just take a look at this, all right? Now, faith, God, I've said this a million times. If you want to know something, God's going to give you the answer. He's given us, as Peter says, everything pertaining to life and godliness. So let's go to him for the answer. And the answer is found in Hebrews 11.1. 1. You probably know this. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's what faith is. What does faith result in? Now think about this a minute, because I'll tell you, if you go to most, if you go to many, many large churches, if you watch many preachers on television, you will think that the result of faith is supposed to be stuff, yeah. things, money. Wouldn't you think that? Faith is about getting those things. But let me go back to Hebrews 11 in the second verse, because there it says, for by it, by faith, the men of old gained approval. The goal, the result of faith should be that we enjoy the approval of God. Not the, not the things, but the approval of God. Where does faith come from? Well, you probably know this. I mean, these are all common verses, but the, the question is, do we just hear the words or does it become the, the, what our life is driven by? Part of our being. Our being. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Mm -hmm. So faith comes from God's word, from hearing, hearing God's, God's word, voice. hearing God's voice, right? Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus said, take care of what you listen to. Be careful about what you listen to. Mark 4, 24. And that's particularly true in these days when we are warned, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. First John 4.1. The result of faith 
is supposed to be the approval of God because it comes from hearing what he says and obeying what he says. Awesome.